there was a situation and I couldn't change it. And I remember feeling offended and I wasn't really praying, I was just more complaining to the Lord. And one night I heard very clearly from the Lord, He said, Catherine, it's your responsibility to guard your thought life. What are you gonna dwell on? It took a couple of days, but I started making this conscious effort to change what I was thinking about. And instead of dwelling on being offended in a situation that I wasn't able to change right now, I wanted to dwell on a promise. And so I remember going to my keyboard and I said, okay, God, I need a word about this particular circumstance. And I remember immediately hearing Zechariah 4-7, which it talks about this great mountain that's going to become a plain in front of Zerubbabel. And I remember grabbing a hold of that like it was some lifeline. And I remember thinking about this frustrating situation in my mind and, and picturing it like that mountain that Zerubbabel had to face. And I remember just staring at it and saying, who are you great mountain that you should not bow low? And then I heard the phrase, Jesus defeated the darkness. And at this point, I get up from the keyboard and I just start pacing up and down the hallways of my house. And I remember the breakthrough that happened in my own heart where I was able to get rid of the offense. And I began standing on a promise rather than the frustrations of the situation. 